Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and this video is going to be about cement use. If I go to Lowe's or Home Depot, people ask me, well, what cement should I use? Well, I started working in 1969 doing masonry work, helping my father do cellars. And I worked with unions, and I worked in different states, uh, from different countries. And I'm going to basically explain it. 95% of the cement I use is either Portland cement, and this is type 1 or type 2, or mortar cement, and this is type S. It says masonry cement. The best way I could describe this, and this is a rule of thumb I use, and it's my opinion, and this whole video is my opinion, is I consider this outside cement, and I consider mortar inside cement. And I'm going to explain to you the first thing how cement's made. Now the first thing we got to know is how do they make cement? Because by knowing how they make it, that's how you know how to understand it. What they do is they get a piece of limestone, this is limestone, and they get a piece and they crush it. They smash it up into real, real fine pieces. And they make a powder out of it. And then they heat it up to like 3500 degrees and it burns off a molecule of hydrogen. Water is H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. When you put the hydrogen back in it, it reforms in its state. So uh, that's basically how they make cement. I'm going to talk about some other types of cement after this, but Portland and, and mortar is 95% of the stuff I use. When I mix cement, whether it's Portland, I always mix it two to one. I put one, and then I get two uh, sand. You see the sand? It's just play sand. Two of them, and then I mix it together dry first, and then I just add the water. And I just keep mixing it until I get it where I want it. And the same with the mortar. Two sand and one mortar. Now we have Portland on this side and we have mortar on this side. What's the difference? First rule of thumb I always use, I could use Portland in everything. Any type of masonry work, I could use it, especially if it's on the ground. Mortar, on the other hand, has lime in it, and what it does is contain the water. And it's easier to use. If you're laying brick or you're laying block, mortar is a lot easier to use. Uh, this is S mortar. That means it has Portland in it. Can you mix the two? Yes. In the old days, my father would use 20 shovels of sand, one bag of mortar, and three shovels of Portland and that was the mix. Worked perfect, never had a problem with it. Uh, the only time I use mortar is maybe a little bit of stucco and I use it on brick and block. But Portland you could use on everything. Portland is what they use on highways, patios, anything like that. You have to be doing this for years to basically understand it, but if I have to fix something it's always going to be with Portland. No matter what I'm doing, if I'm using Portland or mortar, and 90% of the time I use Portland, and I have to stucco something or stick something together, I always wet it first. This is just my sprayer. It's an easy way to, to wet it without using a sponge. I wet it first, and uh, then I take my mix, and I put it right on top of the wetness. See that? It gets right in there. If you don't do it when it's wet, it ain't going to stick. Same thing with the with the mortar. Go right in here and put it on here and it's going to stick. Now we put the Portland on one side, we got the mortar on the other side. I, I put it on here, it's two to one. But the truth is, if you sometimes if you make it too rich, it's going to crack up. If you make it too uh, loose, like using three sand to one or four sand to one, it's going to fall off. In Pennsylvania, it's a big different story than if you're working in Florida. God didn't make everything black and white. There's a lot of color, a lot of variations, and a lot of reasons for masons to do it a different way. But in Pennsylvania, I've learned I use Portland. I never have a problem. In Florida, it's a whole different story. And in two weeks, we're going to look at it again because that's usually how t long it takes cement to cure. And I'm going to explain more about cement to you. Now it's two weeks later, I let this sit outside. It usually takes cement 
for concrete at least two weeks to, to uh, really set up and dry. This side we have the Portland, this side we have the mortar, this is a screwdriver, Let's give it the screwdriver test. That's the Portland. Now the mortar, as you can see, scratches a lot deeper, a lot faster. The mortar is definitely weaker than the Portland. Now this is the water test. We have the mortar here, the Portland here. We drop water on it and you could actually see uh, the cracks in there and everything because cement shrinks and it's, it forms into mud pies and this water here you see it right there the mud pies and everything that's actually the water getting in there mortar absorbs water and portland absorbs water don't let anybody tell you more uh it's cement is waterproof what they're talking about is hydraulic cement it means it'll dry underwater. Like I told you before, when you add water to the cement, it reforms back into the same molecules. But if you're going to uh, use cement, you wouldn't use mortar on a swimming pool, you'd use Portland. And if you ever see cement swimming pools, it's always made out of Portland. Highways is made out of Portland. S mortar is fine for certain projects. My overall, and any job I like to use, I'd rather go with the Portland, especially on sidewalks swimming pools, anything like that. But, you know, they teach in a lot of schools to use S mortar and it's more pliable. But uh, Portland lasts far longer than mortar. That's my personal opinion. Now I'm going to talk about other cements I use. This is what they call Rapid Set Cementol. I really like the product. Uh, if I, When you look on my how to patch a driveway or how to fix curbs. I use this stuff. It's, it dries real fast, 15 minutes. In an hour you could actually walk on it. Sometimes I'll take this and I'll mix this with my Portland to cement uh, depending on how fast I want the Portland drive dry. So I've been using that and this is a white stucco. Now what's going on in the masonry trade was I would just use white Portland and white sea sand but now they make this where it all comes in one package you just take this out and mix it up. It's sand and is already in it. Uh, the biggest enemy in Pennsylvania I'm talking about is it freezes here. So uh, here's a perfect example. I went and I took this in and out of the freezer 120 times. I wet it and I put it in and I put it in this little meat tray and you could actually see the parts that fall off of it. And the reason is is because uh, when you put this in the freezer and it's wet it absorbs the water and it expands and that's what breaks the cement apart. Now it held up very 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 well and I'm very confident using it. Uh, but that's what I use in Pennsylvania as a secondary. Uh, this quick treat cement mix, same thing, it comes already mixed, it's fine to use that. And the only other thing I use is a uh, hydraulics cement which is so I'm putting the bolts in I would get this stuff, it's a powder, and you put the bolt in and you put the cement around it, and it's hard in 15 minutes, that's fine too. But uh, I hope I explained some stuff about cement use, and this has Portland in it. It's Portland based with polymers, I think, and that's what, it's like latex uh, paint, a better way to say that. Uh, this mortar flakes away, I don't care what they say. Uh, I always add, sometimes you'll see me add some uh, fiberglass in with it to hold it together better. And that's the end of my video. Like I said, it's all my opinion from my years of experience 